y'all, this is Dave Korsunski from Heads Up Health, and I'm here in my beautiful home in Truckee, California. And I wanted to introduce a new product which we've just integrated into Heads Up Health, and it's the uh, Level Breath Ketone Analyzer. This is a really simple and easy way to test your level of fat burning metabolism. It's also a way to test your level of ketosis. And we have a lot of people using Heads Up Health that want to measure their level of ketosis to help them with whatever their, their goals are. So this is the device. I'm going to show you how to take a reading and then we're going to show you how to integrate it into Heads Up Health so you can track this data alongside everything else that you may be collecting. Things like macronutrients, weight, body fat, blood tests, etc. So this is the device. It's pretty straightforward to take a reading. Essentially the first thing I'm going to do is set it up for myself. You can have two users configured and also a guest mode. So if there's more than one person in the household, each can have their own profile on the level device. So I've set it to user one, which is my profile. I've also got the level app on my phone, so I'm going to open that up. As soon as I open up the level app, you'll see that the device itself is going to pair and show that it's connected. So there's the connected light and I'm ready to take a reading. Once the reading is done, it will send it to the level app and then it will go into Heads Up Health. So what we're measuring here is breath acetone, which is essentially the level of burned ketones that can be measured when we exhale. This is much different than testing blood ketones with a finger stick. That's beta hydroxybutyrate, which are the circulating ketones. There's no guarantee your body's actually using those. These are the byproduct of burned ketones. So it's an excellent measure of metabolic efficiency. So to take a reading, we're just gonna blow into this canister. And it's pretty straightforward. You just inhale for a count of five, hold for a count of five, exhale for a count of five, place the canister in the machine, and it's going to measure the amount of breath acetone in parts per million. And that just tells us whether or not we're in ketosis and how far in. You can see it's starting to analyze. Now on the device itself, it's just going to give you a reading from one to six. If it's above six, you'll have to actually check the exact number on the phone. So this just gives you a basic indicator Anything above, according to level, anything above 8 to 10 parts per million, they correlate with about 0.5 millimeters of blood ketone. So I'm at a 4, and then I can open up the level app, and it will sync here, and I get my most recent reading. And then in a second, I'm going to show you how to configure it in Heads Up Health. Okay, now that we've taken some level readings on the actual device, the next thing we want to do is link that data with Heads Up Health. And what that's going to do is allow you to visualize your level breath ketone readings with all of the other health information that you're collecting. Medical records, body composition data, and other health information. So first thing is to create your Heads Up Health account. If you've already got an account, you can just sign in from our homepage. And the first thing we need to do is actually link our level account with Heads Up Health. And just like you'd connect a Fitbit or a Withings Scale or a medical facility, you just open up the Connect Data button and you'll notice that you've got devices and apps, medical records, and then we've got some additional sources here. So in the Other Sources folder, you'll see Level. And when you click on Level, we'll just prompt you for the username and password that you use to sign into the Level mobile app. Mine's already connected, but as a new user, all you have to do is punch in your level username and password, and then we will link your level account with Heads Up Health. So once it's linked, we then want to add the level readings to our dashboard. You can see I've got a bunch of different metrics on here, but I need to add breath ketones. So to do that, we just use the blue button on the dashboard, and we choose breath ketones from the list. Optionally, we can configure the color of the font, and then you'll see this pop up on your dashboard, and you can see I've got level set here. And a few things. One is we can just position this wherever we want. So let's say I wanted to track my level readings right next to the carbohydrate data from MyFitnessPal and right next to my weight. So you can customize where you put level on your dashboard relative to the other health metrics that you're tracking here. And then just like any other card, you can click it it will turn over and show you your last five readings. It will show you your average last month, this month, and year to date. And then you can also just toggle historically through the different readings. So those are just some dashboard basics. The next thing we may want to do is graph our level readings over time. So you can either click this bar graph icon or just access the analyzer function. And here is where we can start to look at results over time. 
And so you can see I've got breath ketones selected on the analyzer. There's a bunch of different metabolic markers here. And you can look at different time horizons. I've got the current year set, but you can choose any of the defaults or enter your own custom date range here. So you can see over the course of the year, as I've been in and out of ketosis, my levels have gone up and down. Here's my average over the entire period. If I change the date range, we'll automatically update the average max and min for the period that you've selected here. And then equally important is looking at how other metrics have changed as we've gone in and out of ketosis, as we've been tracking our fat loss or metabolic health with the level. So for example, we may want to look at changes in body composition. So I could open up the body composition folder here and start to look at changes, for example, in my weight over the same time horizon. And you can see weight has slowly started to trend down over that same horizon as low as 192, now about 194, and start to see how breath ketones are impacting other elements of your health. For example, you may also want to look at breath ketones and blood sugar. And you could just choose blood glucose from the list here and maybe even filter that just to look at your fasting blood glucose readings. So are those coming down as you go in and out of ketosis? Does that correlate with level data? So you can do these types of comparisons and we'll summarize the results of the date ranges down here to help make it easier just to see the big picture of what's happening. And then lastly is also starting to look for changes in your blood work. These are markers like cholesterol, inflammation, hemoglobin A1C. As you adopt a fat loss, low carb, ketogenic diet, or anything that's inducing breath acetone as a measure of metabolic health, you can start to see how all of your blood work is trending as well. And to connect your medical records, you do that through here, the connect medical records option. You can also enter your results manually if you're outside the United States, you can customize the units for each test and the reference ranges to match your local country. So by simply linking your level device to Heads Up Health, we can pull the readings in and really help you make sense of how they fit into the bigger picture of your health. So that's the level device. We're really, really excited about this partnership. If you're interested in the device, just head to headsuphealth.com level. You can learn more about the device. You can learn more about connecting it to Heads Up. There's a discount code for you there to get to save some money on the level device. And if you've got questions, just shoot us an email, support at headsuphealth.com. Thanks.